Hello, I'm Meli for Edu for Java and today we're going to talk about the while instruction sentence or instruction while. Let's start. <coughs> we're going to create an example. We create an integer variable and we initialize it to zero. After we're going to create a while sentence. Here it is. Let's take a look at the format. It has a format similar to the if instruction, you can see. It has a condition and a block. If the condition is true, the block is executed. All this is just like the if. The only difference is that once the block was executed, the if continued is normal execution. With the while, if the condition is true, it executes the block and after it executes the block, it repeats the evaluation of the condition and if it's true, it executes the block again. And this can be undefined. It could go on and on around forever. Let's write an example. Let's write a condition while contador is less than 3. We're going to print the value of contador meter through the console. Let's try and run this. As you can see, it's printing zero. It can make you think it's static, but it's really printing zero all the time. When this is red, it means it is in execution. With this, we stop it. What happened? Let's see what this program does. Contador meter was initialized to zero. It continued to the second instruction. It evaluated the condition. Zero is smaller than three, so the condition is two and it entered the block. It is going to execute this and it prints zero. When it finishes this, it, it goes on evaluating the condition. As the condition is two again, it continues to execute the block. And this is repeated indefinitely because this condition is always two because contador meter is not changed inside the block. So it repeats infinitely, the printing on the console of zeros. To change this, we only have to write something like this. What are we doing here? We're going to increment the variable contador in one. Let's run it. We can see that it prints zero, one, two. What happened here? contador equals zero. While zero is smaller than three, it goes into the block. It prints the contador meter with zero. After this, it adds the value of contador a one and it keeps it in the variable contador. Contador is zero plus one equals 1. So the value of contador will be 1 now. It goes again into the evaluation, 1 smaller than 3, yes, it goes into the block again. It prints 1, which is the value of contador. Here you have the 1. We evaluate again contador, which is 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 is assigned to contador, contador equals 2. It evaluates again. 2 smaller than 3, yes, the next instruction, it prints contador equals 2. I assign contador the last value of contador, 2 plus 1 equals 3. We repeat the condition, 3 less than smaller than 3, this is false. It doesn't go inside the block. It comes out, we don't have any other instructions, so the program ends. This instruction is 
Very common. It is to increment in one the value of a variable. Java and C allows us to write this in this way. This instruction here, this plus plus with an int, what it's saying is to increment contador. Let's run this. 0, 1, 2. It's not very intuitive. I prefer to use this annotation, but a lot of the code uses this one, so you better get used to it. When a 4 is automatically generated, it uses this type of annotation. This annotation comes inherited from C. We have to get used to it. Let's play a bit with this. If I change contador and I write 5 and I run it, we can have our results from 0 to 4. If I write less equals 5, I have 0 to 5. If I change my initialization into, I print the numbers from 2 to 5. I suppose that if you play with this, you end up understanding everything a lot better. Let's do another type of exercise with a while. I have another prepared here, so that you can see that you can use it for another things. This is a program here, which adds up several numbers. It begins asking for numbers, sumar varios números. It adds them up till in one moment we give it a minus one. With that it understands that it doesn't want to ask for more. Let's run it. Program to add several numbers. Insert number to add or minus one to stop. OK. Let's insert two. Again, it's asked for a number. Two plus two equals four. Plus three equals six. Plus three equals ten. Let's write now minus one. And the result is nine. Um, Mm, it has an error. We're going to have to change our program. As we can see, it has an error. 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 minus 1. It should be 10. The first instruction prints this message on the screen. Programa para sumar los números. Program to sum several numbers. The second one is the scanner that we have already seen, which inserts data through the console the variable accumulator, accumulator, which gives the sum of the numbers we're going to insert. This new variable, nuevo número, new number, is going to be used to ask the user a new number. While nuevo número, new number, is bigger than or equal to zero, it comes into the block. I write a message asking to insert a number to sum or minus one to stop. Ingresar número o sumar a menos uno para terminar. Here I'm asking to insert to the console the new number. Number two, which was inserted here, will be kept here. In the accumulator accumulator, I'm going to write what accumulator had before, 0, and the new number, equal to. I come here again, nuevo número is bigger or equal to 0. So this is 2, and we insert a new number again, 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Acumulador equals 4. We come again here. 2 is bigger than 0. We ask for another number. We insert a 3. 
3 is add to 4, 3 plus 4 equals 7. Again, 3, which is the number we wrote, is bigger than or equal to 0, we write another number. Again, 3. Acumulador equals 7, we add 3, so now acumulador equals 10. Nuevo número, new number is 3, so it's 2 again, and it runs this again. Now we write minus 1, new number equals minus 1, so 10 minus 1 equals 9. Acumulador equals 9. We can he come here. Minus 1. Minus 1 is bigger or equal to 0? No. It doesn't run and it comes here. It prints the accumulator equals 9. The problem is that minus 1 was to stop the program. We didn't want to add it. We can change this by adding an if. If. If nuevo número, new number, is bigger than 0, then we accumulate it. Uh, if it isn't, we don't. As you can see here, let's run it first. 2, 2, 3, 3. Minus 1, 10. Okay. Let's run it again. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Minus 1 to stop, 14. Perfect. What happened here? We wanted to use minus 1 to stop so that the while didn't go on forever. But we didn't want to add the minus 1 to the sum. So what we do now If nuevo número is bigger than zero, we add it. If it isn't, we don't. We have just finish, finished an example for the while. We have already two examples with while. This is the common meter, which goes on adding one inside a circle, and this one is a bit more specific for while. It cycles while a condition is two. We change this condition with the insertion of external data. This is enough for while. The um, next tutorial is four. See you there.